one of the most important structural elements in a composite sea kayak like this one is the sea where the deck and the hull come together. There are several ways to seam a kayak. One of the most common is to take the hull and the deck and simply do a butt joint. So put the two pieces together and where the two parts touch, reinforce that union by applying seam tape either to the inside or the outside or both. Another way is to build the two parts so that they overlap. Usually the deck will go over top of the hull and where the parts overlap you can load that area with glue and bond the two parts together that way. Nikki uses all three of those strategies, hence the name triple seam, to create a really, really durable seam. Viewed in cross-section, the triple seam looks something like this. At the top edge of the hull, a recess is molded in and is designed to perfectly accept the deck. This is called an overlap joint. The two parts are bonded together with a powerful glue called methacrylate. Next, a wide seam tape is applied at the seam on the inside. This is glassed in with epoxy in order to further reinforce the seam. Then, a three-quarter inch wide seam tape is applied to the outside seam. The final step is to apply gel coat over top of the exterior seam tape. The gel is then meticulously sanded and buffed to a high gloss finish. Because the triple seam combines those three distinct strategies, so overlap joint, inside seam, and outside seam, all three of them bundled together, it provides a huge amount of reinforcement in that critical joint between the deck and hull. And I think it's the best seaming process out there.